All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the podcast, Sports Show TV here. Boy, I'm going to put you on the spot and start off with a little game. I want to ask you, first thing that comes to your mind when I say these teams, ready? Yeah. I'll ask you maybe like three or four. Socceroos. Underdogs. Overpowered. <laughs> Spain. Underdogs. Talented. Bulldogs 2023. Shocking. Premiers. Mainly 2023. Turbo. Average. All right, boys. Let's get on with it then. <laughs> All right. Actually, on the World Cup, we've obviously gone for a lot of matches now. We've seen which teams are underdogs, which teams are good, which teams have been shocking. Belgium. Um, what are your thoughts, boys? Plenty of upsets? I'm loving it. I, to be honest, I was thinking about it the other day. I remember bits and pieces of 2010 World Cup. I remember 2014, 2018, like pretty clear. Mm. This has been my favorite World Cup so far. Yeah. I know what it is. Um, maybe it's the upsets. Maybe mm. it's seeing Australia get their first win in twelve years. I don't know what it is, but I'm I've been enjoying it. Yeah, I feel every game is unpredictable, and it was from the get go. Really, like it's been very entertaining. I've been wanting to get up. And, I know it's kind of t- terrible timing for us. It's like three a.m., six a.m. I mean, if you live that early morning life, but um, yeah, I feel it's it's very intriguing to watch every single game. Yeah, I think uh, the most exciting part is the upsets. Like, remember when we were just watching here Saudi Arabia Saudi go is... up against Argentina? That was the best thing I've ever seen, honestly. Yeah. And um, but who is Messi? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who is Messi? Yeah. Um, even Germany, like Germany, go down to Japan, then Japan go down to Costa Rica. Mm. Like crazy, crazy scenes. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah there have been a fair few upsets so far. Yeah, I mean, sure. Who, who, who have you been impressed with so far? I've been impressed with Spain, but like I said at the start, don't don't count Spain out. Like I still think they're they're a threat to to the World Cup, um, to the other nations. I've been impressed with them. Um, yeah, I think as an yeah. indi- if I was picking individual, I'd say Bruno Fernandes. I think he's oh. really impressed uh, for Portugal. I feel like he hasn't had the best form in club level for Man United, and he's come out but done well for his country. I think. Yeah, I feel Jake. like he's got more. Sorry, I feel like he's got more freedom at playing for Portugal as well than he does with United. Yeah, that's like true. He plays his natural style, yeah. and like you see him flourish. Yeah, that's true. I think in general Portugal are looking good. Yeah, Fernandez. Um, he yeah. back two goals this morning actually. Beast. Well, unless Ronaldo takes it <laughs> from him, but yeah. yeah, been impressed with um yeah Bruno, and I've been impressed with uh the team that I've been going for this World Cup Brazil. Yeah, on the individual Fair players, enough. Messi and Ronaldo tearing it up in the last World Cup. Yeah, man. I just, I knew it was going to happen. I knew, like, it's their last World Cup, right? They're going to just give it their absolute all, like they do each and every game, each and every time they step out on the pitch. But, like, seriously, they both have two goals each. Well, Ronaldo, controversial, maybe one goal. Um, both their teams are doing well. Argentina, obviously, with the shock loss early on, but they're both going to be there in the knockout stages. And, yeah. like, I hope they meet. I just hope they meet yeah. at some point. I think everyone knew Messi had to step up, and he knew it himself, and he did. He took it into his own hands. I think it was zero zero, like late in the second half, and then Messi gets a touch, oh, a goal. puts a bottom corner, and then that was it. Argentina assisted again that game, and yeah, he's looking good. So is Ronaldo claiming goals. That's it. That's what it. Do you reckon, Josh? Who goes further, Argentina or Portugal? I know you were back in Portugal. Yeah, I think honestly, my head and my heart are saying Portugal. I feel they have a better war round team yeah um i know they have both have great individual players but in terms of informed t- informed club I, I think portugal can go f- a very long way even win, win it fair enough um just to touch on your point earlier about who's impressed you the most senegal mm. they they impressed me mm. yeah jordan jordan are you are you yeah are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah see there's two assists yeah man that was crazy but um speaking of crazy soccer is first winning 12 years Come on, Ozzy, come on. Like, come on, mate. Mate, Mitchell Duke, Central Coast Mariners, not there anymore, but what come on. What a header. What a header. Mate. Like, what can you say? Like, People were talking shit about him being yeah. in the select, like being in the team, right? And he just, oh, man. Jukey boy, he does, he does again. He's, he loves just too good in those headers in. Yeah, it was a great finish. I feel like, I didn't even see it. I, honestly, when it came up his head, I'm like, nah, it's not going to go in. But just the way he just fell into that net, I was like, wow, everyone went off. Yeah, yeah we're wow. at our local club. Everyone, everyone's going off for like, just... Unbelievable. I mean, now now soccer is just need to draw against them after you go through or yeah. all you reckon happens. Please get the draw. Like, this this will be history, and this will, just like the Queenslanders and Daily Cherry Evans said it, 
the worst ever Queensland team. This could possibly be the worst ever Socceroos squad. And if we get to the round of 16, like, they can all shovel to the whole world, honestly. Yeah, a lot of people talk shit about the squad. What do you reckon, Josh? Do you reckon they can go there through? I guess, like, I think they can, but they need a 90 minute performance. I feel they got lucky in in that game. Like, there were times where, you know, a bit nervous. Yeah. Came down to some great defending, and they just need to play 90 minutes, and I feel like they can do that. In the last 10 minutes, our defenders really saved us, so did Matt Ryan, which I know yeah. look, they're on the field to do their job, right? And that is their job, but. It, against a team like Denmark, they can make us pay in those final 10 minutes. Exactly. So, yeah. we'll see what happens there. I think one more point is um, the difference between the first and second game is that they played their own style of football and yeah. attacking football Australia. If you remember our first game against France, we scored the goal and we dropped off. Mm, we just yeah. sat. And you can't do that against the yeah. likes of Barpe and Giroud, who out and out goal scorers. Yeah. Second game, we played our game. Obviously, the last 10 minutes was a bit, we got tired and all that sort of stuff. But, you know, we're just attacking the whole game. Aaron Moy started to get into the game. Was yeah, we just. I think if we do that against Denmark, we have a chance. Yeah. And boys, boys I've got a game for us. Let's go. Yes, sir. Would you rather? <laughs> oh, so, first question for both of you: Would you rather be a professional rugby league player or professional footballer, as in soccer? Across, Across any league, league, if I'm a footballer. Yes. If it's any league, I'd rather be a professional footballer. Um, you get to travel the world and get paid a whole lot more. If it was A league, I'd rather be a rugby league player. Yeah, I think agree there, Norman. I think, yeah, just the travelling, the money, it's too, it's too good to let go. Yeah, I totally agree there. You know, I love rugby league more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, on soccer, would you rather win a World Cup or your respective league, as in the EPL, Bundesliga, World Cup? Um, yeah, easy then. Mm, yeah, I think the World Cup. You can see... Players like De Bruyne, they, they're just winning Premier, they win the Premier League easily, and he comes to the World Cup. He's All right, like, City fan. All right, he's City just fan. like he's just like you know. We saw what De Bruyne came out and said it was like it was a bit harsh for his own country, saying that not going to win it. I mean, yeah. Don't give up too soon, but yeah, you can see World Cups are much harder to win, and yeah. they're rare. And the whole world is watching. You know how rare it is. Not only does it only come around once every four years, but it's like it's about everyone in that team being informed, being injury free. Yeah, it's, it's like, like, and you only play a fifth. What do you play like eight games? Mm. You yeah, know, you don't have a whole season every season. It's a quick month. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> and another thing is, I think that your country is your country forever. Exactly. Like, look at Lukaku moving on to club, to club, to club, mm. Ibrahimovic, all these. Like, your nation is instilled into you forever. That's why. Yeah. yeah. So I special. Yeah. It's more special. Yeah, that's right. Pretty good. Boys, on to the Oz summer schedule cricket. Yeah. Um, Yo, I'm um, keen. I know, like, so Australia's going to face the West Indies and then they've got a test series against South Africa. I reckon they'll win both with ease. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to the Ashes. Pretty sure the Ashes will be next year. Yeah. Um, next year, yeah. Yeah, so it won't be our Aussie summer of cricket at all. But to be yeah. honest, this will put us in a great position leading into the Ashes. Hopefully, we can blood some young players coming through. Um, I, I still think our bowling, like, is. Yeah, the bowling line, like, Mitchell Zark, like, Josh Hazelwood, Pat Cummins, Nathan Lyon. Like, see you yeah, later, yeah, mate. It's up there. It's crazy. I'm so keen. I'm just, yeah. yeah, I was going to go bowl again, mate. Line, mate. Can give him the ball. Can we get bowl on the back? <laughs> no, mate, he was, mate. Oh, bro. Mate, he's, day. Yeah. Mate, he set the standard test. there all the time. That was the greatest. Yeah. If someone ever gets injured, Scott Bowling has to replace a non yeah, yeah, injury sub. Yeah. Best sub ever. Get him in. Yeah, keen for that. And then I'm keen for the Big Bash as well. We're obviously yeah. big fans oh. of the Big Bash. Guys, we're going to be doing our fan TV content at Big Bash games, so yes. make sure you get there. Be there. Spot the stadium, yeah. SCG. Um, Someone wants to shout us a trip to Melbourne. We'll go down there. Um, yeah. So obviously we'll just run through your teams. I'm a I'm a Sydney Sixers fan. Thunder. See the thunder all the way, mate. Yeah. So it's two against one. Him outnumbered, but my team outclasses. So, oh, so um, it's been pretty good last few years. Um, what what do you reckon for the Big Bash this season? Um, there's obviously there's not much hype around that until like a couple of weeks before the event. I don't know why with the yeah. marketing and the way they promote it, but. I'm super keen, and I think the Sixers can win. Made the final last year and didn't do well. Um, yeah, the scorch is too good, but I think Sixers have it have it in them. Do you back in your boys? Yeah, I'm back in. I'm back in Thunder with Warner for a few seasons, a few games during the season, and the finals. I think we've got a good chance. I mean, no Kawaja this year. Yeah, uh, he's going to heat, so it's a big loss. But I think we've got the players to win it. Yeah, I'm just excited to see the Big Bash happen. Yeah, Obviously, I hope Sydney Thunder win, but it's when all the cricket fans actually come out of their shell and start watching some good old cricket. So. And, like, the thing is, it just comes around, right? 
Yeah. Everyone has an amazing eight weeks watching or whatever. Yeah. And then boom. It's, it's gone for the whole year, right? <laughs> so I think everyone's just keen to get it yeah. That's right. Get it back going. Um boys, baby or super coach. Oh yeah, on the big bash. We'll be doing a super coach comp. Um we do it every year like like yeah. us as you know, family and friends. Um but we are gonna invite everyone else on this time and probably give away a prize. Yeah. 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 So let us know if you're keen on um joining Big Bash Super Coach and we'll get that sorted sooner rather than later. You're going back to back. Should be good. Here we go. Going back to back. Did oh, you win last one? Are you beating me? Yeah, I beat you. By some bullshit performance, right? Oh, Maxwell's a goat. Make sure you get Maxwell in your team. Oh, so Maxwell scored the highest runs ever in a Big Bash game and Josh beat me because he had Maxwell. I, I even, was up by like 100 points. I even, Maxwell the goat. I even laid the app and I thought I lost. Then. Oh, I, thought I, re- lost. I re-downloaded it. I sent him the text saying GG. And then uh, Maxwell never got out. <laughs> and then he just kept going. Break the record. My dad doesn't even watch cricket and he came to check in on me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boys, we're on to the questions from the fans. We put an Instagram story up. We've got three questions in. Fine. Who was the best all round athlete of all time? All round athlete of all time. Well, well someone, someone is someone who can play different sports, or is just like, like it's got to be. Yeah, it athletic. has to be at least two. At least two. Play at least so two. Who's, super athletic. So who's played two? Sonny Bill would be up there. Yeah. I think I'll, I'll say Israel Falau. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll go with the hand plane. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's a nice plan, bro. It's a bit turbulent there. Uh, it's a bit turbulent there, going himself. I'm not sure who I'd go with. But yeah, I think Sonny Bill and yeah, Hayne did it well. Downtown Holmes? Downtown Holmes was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I, I just, yeah, he's Ralph Falau. He killed it all three level, all three codes. That's true. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Three my boy, he's Ralph Falau. <laughs> three Hayne. <laughs> well, well, that guy's had some <laughs> shocking controversy <laughs> in their life. Yeah, um, on to the next question. Yeah. Who was the best pickup in 2022? It's, it's got to be Nico Hines. He won the Dally M. I've got to go Nico Hines. 2022. Are you talking about NRL? Yeah. Yeah. 23 or 22? 22. Yeah, I mean, the guy won Dally M. How can you go against yeah. him? Yeah. I can't believe it. Yeah, and which country is winning the World Cup and why? I think Adrian and I said Brazil to start. I'm so confident in Brazil. I, I still, I still ride with Brazil. Obviously, like I said, I want to say either Spain or Portugal win, but I, I still think Brazil is the best squad. Yeah. So I still think Brazil going to win it. I'm in Brazil. I think they've got such a strong squad and they've proved themselves. Richard, what a goal by Richard. Oh, Richard by the way. Like that was Casemiro. Casemiro. Yeah, that was crazy. What a the Brazilians, Brazilians are just so good, eh? Oh yeah, all round. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stick by Ronaldo. Listen, lads, Ronaldo is going to win this World Cup. I hope so. I'm I genuinely you, hope so. I'm, I am that confident. I'm not even being a fanboy. I'm just going to say it. he's going to win this World Cup. He's got, the, he's got the players behind him. But as you, he's got the players behind him, and he's going to win this World Cup. I just, I don't know. I just just had this feeling, and just, well, just speaking fight. of the greatest of all time, right? We'll switch codes to the NBA. The Lakers. They've got LeBron on the team. LeBron's finally picking up with some form. Um, they've won five of their last six games. Are the Lakers back, or are they still very far away from title contention? Well, they've got three of potentially the best players in the league on their day. LeBron, yeah. LeBron, Westbrook, AD. AD's been popping off lately. Yeah. Like carrying the past few weeks. LeBron's been playing good wrestles. Russell Westbrook's starting to hit form. And yeah. Yeah, I guess when you start the season so slow, it's always, you have to always question the, the club. Like you just, can I go the whole, yeah. the whole, the whole time? The, you know, it's a long season in the NBA. Um, if they can hold their form, you know, they've got great players and people who are, who are experienced. So. Maybe they need a few games to get into us. Maybe they are back. Maybe. Well, they look like you said it's a long season, and like you said, three of the best players in the league on the day, right? It's a long season to push through with some. It takes the best players to push through and get to the position. So I think they can get there, but I don't know. The the Bucks and the Celtics are looking good, but I, I still think Golden State will just creep up in the end. Yeah, yeah. The, the Golden State have been very. They're flying under the radar. Yeah, yeah. About the Bucks and Celtics, yeah. This Celtics now, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Uh, uh, UFC, UFC Fight Night. Bam Bam is an outsider at $2.50. And that is disgusting, which is why we're talking about it. Mm-hmm. So we've got Bam Bam, Tai Tai, 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 you know, come on. What a guy. The heavy hitter from Western Sydney. And his $2.50 is an outsider. Like, I don't know. I'll always back Bam Bam. Even against Saro Gain, I know it was a title fight. Um, Saro was a bigger fighter and the champion, whatever. But he he rocked him. He rocked him with that punch. Almost almost knocked him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I just don't know how Bam Bam is not the favorite here. There's good um, reason, surely. Yeah, but I'm 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 keen. It's it's this <laughs> Sunday. You you always love watching the the Aussie fight. Do you have a favorite oh, yeah. fighter in the UFC or anything like that? Honestly, I just love watching anybody fight. I think 
McGregor got me more into the UFC. Yeah, like I think that's, that's like anybody he's else. He's the reason I started watching. Twenty sixteen. He he, yeah. he brought. I think he he brought a lot of things to the to the sport. Yeah. It was crazy, crazy what he did. And, and that, that's, that's what. what no, I even bought the game, game video games because of him. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's crazy how much money he brought to the sport. And he fans, if people would love the sport now, they would never would have known they would have loved it without him. Yeah, I'm right. basically Darren Till. So I am, yeah. Oh, yeah, Darren Till. 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 All right, boys. Last game. Um, prime prime player, player pick. Okay. So, so pick between Prime, Scotty Prince. And prime Jamie Soward. Oh, Jamie Soward, baby. I love that. Jamie Soward. Scott Prince was a gun. Yeah, he was. But Scott Prince was a gun when I was still so young. Whereas I remember Jamie Soward being really dominant um, when Dragons won the comp. I'll go Jamie Soward just. Actually, Only because of his goal kicking ability, I think that gets him over the line. Yeah. His head gear. Yeah, he's. You remember the Jamie Soward march? Yeah, the march. He's yeah, so just, just like a talent. It's a bit tough one, especially for you, Nolan. Oh no. Prime Tedesco or Prime Minicello? Minicello was arguably one of the best fullbacks. I watched his highlights and yeah, oh my gosh. But then Teddy's like so good. Mini, his ability to do what he did with the speed of the game after coming back from such a shocking injury was incredible. If you had to pick. But if I had to pick. I don't think we've ever seen a fullback like Tedesco before, only because he's just more well-rounded than... Minicello is still my favourite player, but he's more well-rounded than Mini. I'm going to have to go prime Teddy. Teddy won every award, right? Yeah, yeah, he did. Uh, it's yeah. hard to go past. But I, I feel, feel like, like Mini would have if he stayed injured. If he stayed injured for that guy. You can't forget, Tedesco did have a massive injury and came back. Like I'm going to have to go Teddy, just the fact that he's won that many. He won every individual award in the, in the, in the game at one point. Sure. Yeah. Last, last one, last one. one. Um, Let's go. Here we go. Who passes you, Adrian? Prime Tommy or Prime Brett Stewart? Bro, that's even harder. Brett <laughs> done so much for me, I man. <laughs> Tommy's one. Tommy's one season literally carried on their back. We've, We've had, had two gun fullbacks in yeah. generations. Just realize that. Oh, are you gonna pick Brett? Like Brett Stewart is just gonna go, the gonna snake go hard, or you're gonna go with... of manly. Bro, Tommy Turbo. <laughs> but like I've watched Brett Stewart playing. He is a Oh, it's a good memory. <laughs> I don't think I can go past Would, Tommy Turbo. Tommy. I'm just like, yeah, okay, at their best, to, Tommy, Tommy Turbo. Tommy, Tommy Turbo was making, making like, like tackle break, like breaking, breaking out of the tackle, tackle for the whole defensive line for fun, and then like, oh shit, shit I should I just can, like continue and run through them and score. Yeah. 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 Tommy, Tommy Turbo, Turbo, mate. I'll yeah. call it the COVID yeah. year. Oh, oh, no, that's Tommy Turbo year, the COVID year. You know what's going through my mind? Like, the facts. That Tommy Turbo walked through the. Do you remember the Cowboys try? Oh, he literally walked through them. Oh no, not the one the, where the, the Bulldogs try. He walked through them as well. Yeah, that. Oh, yeah, literally walked through. Yeah, yeah. That. How do you do that? No, I, freak. I remember he was like looking straight, had the ball straight, and and did like a he like did a dummy step. Yeah, he literally fake doing a side step, <laughs> and the fullback was like. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, he, oh my I guess, god, so easy for him. I guess like, like no, who's unstoppable that year? No, no one could touch him. No. Yeah, yeah no, no one could touch him next year too. Um. Touchwood. Touchwood. Touch now let's let's get off uh, talking about touching. But what you can do with your mouse is touch that subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. Like our videos, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, you name it. We're on social media, so please chuck us a follow. Um, we're trying to hit 10k followers on TikTok by Christmas. So uh, any closing announcements, boys? Yeah, let's just have a little discussion about this charity match. I think. Let's just say, oh, yeah. let's do it. Let's um, yeah, we got some big names in. Um, we're G'd up. We're Looking mm-hmm. to get in, like, you know, collab with a few people, get in a training session. Yeah. Um, are you guys keen? Yeah, this is actually an open invite to all the creators who are watching, right? If you're partaking in the charity match, reach out to us if you're keen to go to the park. We'll do a few training sessions, a few drills, make some content. G it up. Get it sorted. By the way, the boys here have been training. Let's go. Yeah, we've been in the gym. We've been, we've been yeah, I've seen watching, watching videos. videos. We've, been, we've been everywhere, mate. Yeah. So. I saw Trade Mark Ball was training today. He said he's training for the um, yeah. charity match. Jason Davis has been doing six hours a day. That's no word of a lie. That's See, it. I heard that too. I've got to hit the gym and start doing shoulder presses or something and be able to tackle these big Especially boys. Especially Hectic so. Fred's coming at you, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Hectic Fred's on. Hectic you Fred. Really have a like you got yeah. Like yeah. yeah, I've got a target <laughs> on my back just for being a nice guy. <laughs> Sucks, man. Um. Hey, you guys, stay low key. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Emilio wants to take out all on Tekka's as well. Tekka's yeah. a big boy. Well, Tekka's been targeted a bit now. Tekka's been. Uh, Moses boys. wants him too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Moses wants Jason David. Oh, no, he wants Jason. Mahmoud wants him. Mahmoud. 
Yeah, like that that's... movie podcast, they got some, there were some um, yeah, they got... boys they're trying to hit. But... I think Tekken is going to have a hard day in, day in yeah, the... Yeah. It might yeah. take 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, well, he'll be lucky to at this rate. We've got some big names that have just dropped as well, so yeah, um, yeah, stay yeah. tuned. The last few names will drop once we get confirmation around the exact charity, stadium, and the date because these people have, like, super busy schedules and they're happy to confirm but just want the date first. So exactly. that's that. And you guys want to say, boys? We're excited. We're ready. That's cool. Let's go. Take care, everyone. Sports shit out.